Hello everyone. Today we are going to make turkey style lentil balls, Ooh. which is your favorite, right? It is. How did you know? <laughs> That's very exciting. And these are all the ingredients we have. We have lentil and thin bulgur. If you don't know what is bulgur, uh, it's actually a cracked wheat. Uh, if you can't find it in your countries or if you can't find it in your supermarkets, you can use semolina actually. And we have tomato paste and red pepper paste. Somewhere you can't find red pepper paste as well, but you can use tomato paste yeah. double. Yeah. So instead of the red pepper paste, uh -huh. we have chopped, um, finely onion. chopped onion, parsley, spring onion, and some lettuce, tomato, and lemon to decorate. Okay. So it is very simple. We yeah. only have one pan here mm -hmm. and just gonna boil the lentil. Okay. All right, let's start. Let's start it. Have you ever made it or you ate it outside? I ate it outside. Mm, okay. But I don't now know you can tell me the difference between this yeah. one and the other one. Home cooked. So this is just gonna boil. When it gets soft, we're yeah. gonna add the bulgur and close the tip. Okay. And we're gonna let it rest. Uh -huh. The bulgur will absorb all the water inside. It's uh -huh. gonna be kind of mushy. Okay. Then we're gonna saute the onion ah, and the, these pastes. Okay. Then we're gonna combine all of them. Okay, that sounds really okay. good. Okay, while this is boiling here, let's saute the onion. What do okay. you say? Yes, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna bring you the olive oil. These are some perfectly cut onions. I need to give it to you. <laughs> so I'm gonna add some salt. They look so good. This is makes the process faster actually because the salt takes the old water out of the onion mm. so it gets cooked very fast. Mm, it smells so nice. All right now we can add the tomato paste and the red pepper paste. So here we go. Man. Don't worry. Man. <laughs> Don't play with me like that. Yeah. Gentle. I am. Now let's check this out. Yes. The lentil is soft enough as you can see here. I don't know if you can see it, oh, wow. but it is soft enough. Now, I'm going to turn this off and add this thin bulgur. A little bit salt. Okay. You want to add some water to this or something? Pepper. No. So we're going to just mix it, then let it rest. All right, let's close this one. It can rest here. I think this is fine. Yeah. Yes. We can also rest this aside. Now we're going to wait this for this to cool down. Okay. And we're going to wait this. The, the bulgur, bulgur absorbs all the water and cooked inside. Okay. Then let's start the other things. Yes. We will add some spring onion. Mm -hmm. We're gonna chop them finely. The green part? Yes, I like the green parts. Huh. So, yes. I'm gonna chop the parsley. I just collate them with my fingers okay. like this to hold them steady. Yeah. Then, I start chopping. Let's keep like this. If okay. it's not enough for us, we can, we can add more. Water. Let's check this out. Ooh. Yeah, you see? Yeah, it got There's all no water the left. water. It's all absorbed. Wow. This smells really good. Yes, no waste. This is the all cooking process actually. Did you gonna mix yes, it? I'm gonna rub it. We can add this mixture. Huh. No? Tomato paste, yeah. All? Yes, please. There you go. Thank you. Now this can rest and we need to just cool it down. What about salt? At the end of it. At the end. Mm -hmm. We add the cumin now, mm -hmm. then paprika. Mm -hmm. Lots of paprika. <laughs> all the paprika. <laughs> Well, let's keep mixing. I love the cumin smell. It is so nice. It is. Well, it's it's enough mixing now. Nice. Let's uh, rest it for five minutes okay. to cool down. And then, then we're gonna we can... continue. All right. Okay. Let's clean up here.
Well, this is cold enough now. Yeah. And while we are waiting for this, we prepared other things, as yes, you see. Yes, for decoration. Now, the time is for these things. Parsley. Parsley and spring onion. I'm going to use my hands now. I'm going to add some salt. And pepper. Papa. And some olive oil. It's going to help to stick each other mm. and looks shinier and more flavor. Looks so good. Smells yes. so good. Just mixing. I think it's enough. Yes, let's make now. the balls. Well, the original shape yeah, is like this. Yeah, that's the this. shape I know. Yeah. But it's all up to you. If you like ball shapes, then you can just roll in your hands like this. I'm going to use my ice cream scoop. Uh, you can use. It's my idea. Give it a try if you like it. It's going to be big though. Like a little bit big bowl. Or you can do like this. It's huge. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> How are you going to fit it in your mouth? I can fit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not a problem. Okay. I have a big mouth. I'll eat this one. Let me try. I can't wait. Why don't you try with the lemon juice? And tomato. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> it's so good. Really? It's so I'm good. Glad you like it. Delicious. Let's give some colors. Yes! Here is your turkey style lentil bowl. Yes. Try one more. I can. <laughs> so you can get the lettuce from the bottom. Like this, you just pick it up. Give it to me. Just some lemon. This is the authentic way to eat it. Yes, please. Okay. Let me judge it one more time. Okay. It actually looks so cute. I'm gonna put this whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. How is it? Nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is our lentil bowls. Mm -hmm. I hope you like the recipe as much as she likes. Yes. See you next week. Bye.